Um, interesting idea. How about let me let me do the pitch of what this seems to be. Uh, how about an app where all it is, you know, hey, you like podcasts, but you hate when they get too long. How about an app where everything is eighteen seconds? Hmm. <laughs> So you get in here, and, and for me, I've been able to make a channel for Sorgatron Media. Uh, I'm gonna. This is gonna be the first big test run this week. It was. I'm gonna have all the shows from tonight. You know, five of our podcasts. I'll make little 18 second clips, and uh, it's gotten really responsive. I have a lot of people following me. It lets me know when I've met. 10 times that people have listened to the things and I don't know if I'm just not getting any higher than that or or that's just the only thing they let us know but you pop in here and uh it's a nice interface like I said you can just kind of roll through on a channel or um you know for instance there's a tech news one I noticed there's a lot of people attached to this Gizmodo tech uh this week in tech is is on here uh in gadget um so there's a presence there people are on board with this thing uh, but I'm just kind of wondering, there seems to be people on it. There, there's like 30 some people already following us and we're not usually a, a, a brand that really people hop on, you know, especially in comparison with some of these big wigs out there, but maybe they're able to just funnel through all this stuff. And, um, and, and, and it's, it seems like a pretty good cool discovery tool because everything's attached to, if you, if you look in here, um, let's see, we got Venture Beat, for instance, they're giving me a little bit about the in Instagram uh, collage feature that we talked about, and there's a read more button, and it'll pop right to the article. Or you can actually set that to a watch more into a YouTube video that'll open right up, or even listen to more, and it's the full MP3. So I can just attach our full MP3 of like, say, this awesome cast episode. Yeah. Yeah, that's great because I mean, I know for Instagram, it's always so annoying when, you know, somebody posts something and they're like, oh, this, you know, it's a screenshot of an article mm -hmm. um, and then they say read more at and they type out the uh, the URL, but you can't actually click on it. Right. You know, that's right, right, right. fantastic. That's and that's why I keep it simple. Like I, I, when I do the Instagram thing, I, I, and I, another one, because now I have a workflow. Because my first response was like, I don't know if I have the bandwidth to set up an 18 second clip for everything I want to put on here. But I got to thinking about. It. I'm already looking at. I, I fell out, and I'm getting back into doing the Instagram clips, which I got some really cool feedback about today, actually. Um, and I just, for me. Maybe this is a little social media tip. Um, I have, I do everything in Final Cut because we're doing everything video, of course, and it just kind of boils down to audio for a lot of things. So I have an 18 second clip placeholder in my templates on uh, Final Cut. So I go find an 18 second clip, and usually I'll have an idea, especially if it's something I just recorded in the morning, and they're a lot shorter than this show, for instance. Um, then I take that clip, pull it over in the one that I have for video that's set for 30 seconds for Twitter, but I got a marker to see where that is on Instagram. I see where it mostly makes sense. It's not going to be entirely perfect, of course. Um, and I spout those out and I put them up on their individual programs. And, uh, that's how we, you know, hit all the bite sized bits. Do, so, so back to our conversation about click through and, 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 and giant eagle and whatnot does, <laughs> does clamor have a way to figure out or feed off of how many people clicked through the watch more or listen to more or it, anything like that it's coming uh all they really have right now is plays and actually i'm not entirely sure how i see how many plays i got as a provider Mm -hmm. um, I have how many clamors, following, followers, and that's it. Now, when I look at other people's stuff, it appears that I can see um, like how many plays they got, for instance. Like I looked at the, the Venture Beat one had like 150 plays. So, so the one thing I, then I, I think it would be interesting to see how other people take this and learn from it. Because um, hmm. as, as Laura was speaking about earlier, um, and at the demo day mm -hmm. and having having the ability or or kind of giving your pitch right mm -hmm. so the, the thing that i've learned and and have told others about in a, in a twitter world is when you get to the corporate world everything is is the short snippets short sentences get your point across get right. the characters down per se right right and, and get that out there to me, this is a, just another learning tool for people to say, look, you have 18 seconds to make your pitch. Make it count. That'd be tremendous. So yeah. What, what's interesting is, is can we now learn from this and say, okay, we have 18 seconds to make our pitch count, and did it work? So am I getting a click through? Am I seeing 
people people watch it and click through. Because mm -hmm. I'm guessing you don't just want, and, and maybe I'm wrong, you don't just want people watching that 18 seconds. No, right? no. Want some, I, I want, want people to go through here. Like, I, I let's see, I can mm -hmm. skip through here. Now, here's here's the cool thing. And, of course, you go through here and like, oh, I kind of dig this. And you can share it. It gives you your options, right? Um, now, let me let me pop back into here the, where I was playing these. Now, like I want people to listen to it. And now, if they listen through, I'll get that hit, and I'll see. Uh, now, I'll see that on my podcast stats, and that's something else that mm -hmm. you know that I can say, "Hey, look, there's more stuff here." And 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 because for me, I'm selling the ad, or I'm selling the show that says, "Hey, go go check out my newsletter." Um, here, like, and now we have, well, here's a, a, my morning, one of my morning shows, uh, basic sorgonomics from this morning, talking about newsletters, actually, and I hear more. And I like this, the MP3 loads right in there. That's perfect. So it's yeah, right into in the show. Mind. So even, I think generally when I have a video show, I think I'm going to lean towards putting the audio version in here just for mm -hmm. you're on a phone. It's more accessible for you. Right. Uh, now I have a couple shows that. There's no, no. I, th I think most of the stuff can go in here. Um, I've been playing back and forth with a lot of them, or even send them to the site. But then there's like there's a link there, and there's an MP3 post, but it's not really optimized for the phone yet. So let's just click a link. They listen to the thing, and if they're engaged, they'll follow us, and they'll follow along to everywhere else that we're at. Hopefully, right. So I now, mean, well, just it, give it another it entry. Offline point. cache capability. Uh, probably not. <laughs> and that's the one thing. So, so for me as a podcast podcast listener that I really look for in a lot of what I do is I, I sync up before I leave in the morning. I'm on the train on my way to work. Um, mm -hmm. And I lose signal one, two, three times on the way into work Yeah. Um, for, for decent periods of time. Um, so that's the one thing that I look for at, or I would, if, if they were on the show, I would say, you know, have you thought about, if I'm subscribing to something and there's the 18 second clips, right? Let me cache, I don't know, a hundred 18 second clips. It's not going to be that much time. Um, and then I can almost dog ear or bookmark what I would want to go back to when I have signal or when, mm -hmm. when, when I have the time. Uh, that, that's something that I heavily leverage things like get pocket for, right? Mm -hmm. um, may see something, whether it's a link in a tweet or a link uh, or a news article I'm reading and I just don't have the time in between a meeting or while I'm waiting in line at Starbucks to, to fully um, take in all of the content and I just send it to Pocket and I, I read it later. So and that's one thing that I do really like about Pocket. It also has the offline capabilities. Uh, Chilla, I, uh, we gotta get rolling out of here. But uh, can you pick one of your stories here? You mentioned the uh, Facebook and Time Hop. I think that's probably the one we want to hit up on, right? Uh, and I, and I th said, dear Facebook, if you invented Time Hop, you would have invented Time Hop. If you remember the, <laughs> <laughs> the movie, um, if you invented Facebook, well, then you would have invented Facebook. But mm -hmm. and it, I read this on a couple of different sites, and unfortunately, the last site I hit was ABC News. But um, so it's probably not as tech journalistic as, as some of the other sites that are covering this, but it lets you keep track of your history. And it, it's like this day on this day, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, um, it can pull back information from Facebook. The thing that I find interesting is, is obviously this cape keeps you in the Facebook universe. It's not like it's gonna, maybe they'll add in some, in, well, Instagram would post to Facebook, but, um, you're not going to get your Twitter. You're not going to get your photo backups. You're not going to get, and that's the one thing that surprises me that I never realized in time hop that I would actually get a lot of use out of is the, the fact that it will go back into your iCloud photos and, and, and photos on the, on the device. Yeah, and whatnot. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and just kind of now I'm looking down at my time. Hop. Um, but it, to me, seeing all of the social media feeds in Time Hop means a lot more to me than just seeing than if I were to just see Facebook. Um, so I think they're counting on a lot here, and, and I really don't see what they're trying to do. The only thing I can say is is that MySpace has never seen so much traffic as as since. Throwback Thursday started. Um, <laughs> a lot of people have started going back into Facebook to get their Throwback Thursday content. 
So maybe this is their yeah. way to, to stay yeah. relevant as, as people are looking elsewhere to, to go back and get a different.